So this is the first time that me and Jared's ever run the dyno by ourselves. Brad isn't here. Uh, fortunately for us, he gave us the dyno to use today. We made a big change. We went from the stage four NA cam to an actual boost cam, so stage three BTR. Today, we're not trying to make a whole bunch of power, but if everything goes well, we may do so. The first pull we're getting ready to do is going to be on wastegate, letting the laptop uh, charge up right now. So we'll make this pull on exactly what the tune was as far as timing, and it should make around 13 pounds. We don't know. The boost may vary. We will find out as soon as we get the laptop hooked up to it. But uh, join us for this first pull. And wish us luck because we need all the luck we can get. We pulled it 6,600. It's down a lot, but I'm pretty sure it looked nasty. The fueling was pretty dirty. We're gonna put the laptop on, see where we're at on the fuel, and figure out why it's down that much power. This cam may like a whole lot more timing. We're getting ready to find that out. <laughs> I know I didn't bring a bunch of new plugs with me. I'm an idiot. Been on the road all day, and that wasn't on my mind until we got here. So. We're going to get the laptop open real quick. I'm going to show that screen. And uh, it's very smooth, no power. But uh, obviously, we didn't pull it up nearly where we would nor uh, normally pull it to. So, chop. So, we're going to pull the, the fuel trim off. I'm going to show you that. We're not concerned with that. That's all I'm at. But what we are going to show you is we didn't make any real boots. I mean, obviously. Um, the very peak, um, let me pull the wideband off as well, 11.6, only 6,600, the waste gates were about to, to open, and obviously with this thing being as low as it is in power, we're going to pull this thing, uh, well I think the next thing I need to do is let's pull a degree of timing replicate this bullet, come back and, uh, and see how it reacts. If it makes less power or more, and then we'll we'll go from there with, uh, we'll, we'll, we think two, we'll pull two degrees. Yeah, two degrees will give us a pretty good opportunity. We have the, uh, the boost and the RPM and the power. So if I pull a few degrees of timing, make another replicated pull to about the same RPM range, if it loses power, we'll know that we need to put more timing in it, and we'll just go from there and keep feeding this thing until the truck is happy again. So we'll make that change. Let's get to this next point. Okay, so we got some pretty good data here. We, uh, you know, like I said, we're pulling timing. We're at super low boost numbers for us. Uh, the truck isn't really efficient there. So at this very specific RPM, see here, uh, we picked up a little bit of power. So that run here is the second run, correct? Yeah, the first run's historic. Okay, but the coolant temp was about 15 degrees you know, colder. The turbo was hotter and the exhaust was hotter. So that's not a really apples to apples, you know, comparison. You know, the, the torque has also changed. So let's see if I can do this here. I'm gonna give you a look. It's 128 degrees, 6,100, 11 pounds. There's easier ways to do this. I just don't feel like doing it. Basically the same thing in that range. So <clears throat> we're going to uh, we're going to play with this a little bit more and see if we can get it happier. So I'm going to clear these logs out real quick. Uh, not clear them out, just remove them from my viewing. Uh, we've never run the truck with this low boost. Uh, we'll leave that timing out. We're going to go up. What do you mean? It's on 11 pounds now. This thing is not 
efficient at that kind of boost number. Want to go 20? Make a full pull on the gate. On gate? Yes. I mean, I think we're going to need a little bit more boost in here to see. It's better to be safe than sorry. Okay. Well, uh, we're going to make a change during the week. And uh, he's probably not going to be happy with me. So we're going to make a change and uh, make another pull and we're going to see how it goes. We'll go from there. And then we'll start talking some more in depth stuff about the back pressure. Uh, we'll compare it to what the back pressures were with the other cam, which is the whole point of this video. So, like I said, we're comparing a NA cam to a boosted cam, both from BTR, stage four NA to stage three turbo cam. This is a 5.3, it is a stock head, uh, it's a rod piston engine, but uh, everything here is cookie cutter, off the shelf stuff. It's got a BS92103 with a 132AR housing. Uh, it's just very basic, simple stuff. This is stuff that everybody runs. So, giving you some backdrop there. We'll make my changes. We'll hit them with another pull. So, um, I put that two degrees back in it. It shouldn't have been that high. The motor's hot. So he found a spark plug that we can maybe get a reading out of right quick. Um, I noticed that with that two degrees of timing out of it, when I got up there and stood on it, it is at a lower boost number there, but um, it fell over and I only went to 6,200 RPM. <coughs> you wanna put that where we can keep it or find it? Well, I mean, I don't know. Power, yeah. It's the best one in the pile. So, um, we found a plug to put in it. We're gonna put one in right quick. We can try to get a reading out of it. Um, I put the two degrees of timing back in it. We're not gonna change the boost. We're gonna roll through it, stand on it harder. I'm gonna try to pull it to closer to 7,000. Or I'm gonna see if it's gonna fall into that pocket where it doesn't wanna climb any higher. And then we'll start investigating deeper. Um, at that point, if it does it again, we'll call Brad, maybe let him remote into the laptop and uh, just verify everything that we've done so far. Um, I will get into some more details as soon as we make this next pull with back pressure and uh, see how that's working for us. But as of right now, we don't have a steady boost number in order to give you the back pressure number because it's constantly climbing. And when it's constantly climbing, it will have a higher drive pressure. So you got it in there? Yeah. Got it in there. I yeah, got the timing put back in it. Um, hopefully it makes the the waste kick pull just as it should. Next pull coming up. plug out before I look at it so what is actually happening what I was feeling is the drop in boost um, so it's rolling up the gates are opening up it's falling down to nine and then coming right back up to about eleven seven so it is making a dip but obviously we never run the truck there this was an old plug Probably can't tell on the camera. I ain't gonna try on the camera. <coughs> but I pulled it a little higher. Did make more power. Let's see here. RPM. We pulled it uh, maximum 6,800. So that we're not even in the efficiency zone of anything. So I'm gonna look at this plug real quick, and uh, we'll figure out what to do from there. Okay. We're gonna leave it timing where it's at. We didn't see any heat mark at all. Uh, it's very tame, especially at this low power. Five, six hundred horsepower is nothing. So instead of making pull after pull after pull at 11 pounds, I'm gonna jump up to about 20 pounds, or put a 20 pound target on it. And uh, we're gonna rig that plug in. We're gonna verify what we have you know, for power. Compare that to what we used to make at around 20 pounds. Hopefully it's better 
That's, that's what we're all looking for. So. Next pull coming right up. It didn't make the power that we thought it should have made. It made how much? Eight? Okay. But we're gonna explain why. He's gonna explain why. Oh, the plug wire fell off. At 4,200. At 4,200 RPM, the number one plug wire fell off. So there's no, read, no reading on the plug for us. And uh, so 4,200 on, we have some kind of weird crap going on. Yeah. So, <clears throat> um, it actually made, uh, it come up to 22 pound and then fell over 20. At 20 pound on seven cylinders, the truck will make 801, 806. Um, and I told him, I was not happy with this cam until we found that out. I was not happy with this cam quite yet because it was down a lot of power and if it's down a hole it would be a lot of power we're gonna replicate that pull and i'm gonna verify that the plug wire is on it it's clipped this guy you gotta love them though things in life uh, yeah we're gonna put that back on it tight I don't know why that would have came off because it should have been tight um, but it may flip this back around work your magic here where are we at uh, 822 at 7,094 RPM yeah so 7,000 7,100 RPM 822 uh, don't know exactly when this blew off in the run um, so yeah, it picked up power, not a lot. Right there. It could have fell off. I'll have to look at the at the data and see when the boost fell. Um, yeah, the truck isn't nearly as happy as it was with that other cam at this point. You now, like I said, at this point, Brad has not touched the truck. That has been me and Jared. So I to say that we're not the best. We're just we're not tuners. Uh, not really much of anything anymore, but I got a belt to stay on, so that's pretty cool. Check one for belts. I'm gonna find a uh, soft right quick. He's gonna pull the plug. I'm gonna get that uh, that boot fixed, and we'll go over the data, figure out what exactly is going on. So we are done for right now. That is a bunch of transmission fluid. There's a vent wherever it is. That way I would never know where it's at. No. So this somehow came out of the transmission as well as which I just welded it up There's a uh, I'll show you that right quick. It's too hot to touch But the hold down is completely missing the speedometer piece is missing. I Just welded the end of that up But uh, yeah, the the gear goes in there. It's a plastic gear. That's missing. I don't know where it is Don't know where the bolt is the hold down. Don't know where none of that is um, me and him have both crawled under the truck looking. He even got on a creeper. We've yet to figure out. So I just welded that up. My buddy Thomas has got a, uh, no, it ain't under there. My buddy Thomas has got a hold down and a bolt. I'm gonna grab that from him in the morning. Come up here, try to clean all this mess up. At that point, uh, I really need to make more power on the dial to verify. 
I should bring another plug with me if I can remember. You need to. I need to pull a new plug or put a new plug in it and pull a plug so we can verify exactly where this is at. And then clean this mess up, get it loaded up so that way we can get down to Noah's race at Clay City. <sighs> if it was easy, everybody would do it, I swear. This is killing me. This truck has fought us tooth and nail. Landon, being a trooper, he's been hanging out with us today all day. So he's wanting to phone back. We're done for tonight. I'll continue up first thing in the morning. Uh, it's gonna be on the same video. Uh, try to get the trans fixed, put back together, and I will, we're gonna leave the dyno up. We'll shut that off. Uh, I'll pull all that up and I'll make another pull, even if I'm by myself, it doesn't matter. Uh, you you will be here in the morning. Well, there we go. I, I'll have him. So uh, we'll try to get this thing together, uh, make a clean pull on the timing it has at the same boost, around 20 pounds. See what it shows as far as power. Um, the boot blew off before we'd made it to the top of the run. I'm about positive, because I seen it and that's what made me lift. I didn't know what it was yet. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Somewhere like that. We'll see you in the morning. We're back. Something we didn't notice last night and you may have in the video was my nitrous that I used to spool the turbo. When this blew off, it blew the fitting apart. If I can get it down there. So I just kind of done the best I could, welded it back in there. Uh, Jared just showed up. Him and Brad are getting the dyno ready. Uh, as soon as it turns on, we got a new plug in it. I brought a couple new plugs with us so we can check this out. I think it's still low on timing, but we're going to find out today. Um, we're going to make another pull to 20 pounds with the timing that it has in it and get a clean reading on the plug and I'm gonna show that in depth. And then I will show you what we're gonna do, plus or minus of that. And uh, hopefully we can make some power. Now, me and Brad went over the data last night from the last cam and at 20 pounds at 7,000 RPM, it made 7.99. On the boost cam, same boost, same everything, same timing, same RPM, it made 8.22, I believe. So we're down on power, but it's not over yet because we may be down on timing. We're gonna find that out right here shortly as soon as we get this ready. Let's go to another pool. made that pull we added two degrees of timing and it picked up 40 around 40 horsepower or so so that's uh, showing some promising results the curve looks good and smooth like i said brad is still going over the laptop he's going to show us if there's anything in there that he's not happy with i'm going to let this thing cool down for just a moment and then i'm going to get that plug out of it so we can uh, show you what it looks like now so I got it out. This is, uh, if I can get it to be focused. That is right in the bin. We're not gonna add any more timing to it. If I can get it to just focus. There, you get the idea. Oh, Jesus. There we go, somewhat. So it's right in the bin. We're not gonna add any more timing to this fuel. What it has is what it has. That is the best fueling timing. It's optimal. It's the best it's going to be. So the BTR Stage 3 Turbo Cam with this particular combination is not as happy at that boost level as it is with the NA Cam. But we're not done. Now that we know we have the timing where we want it, that's only at 20 pounds. We're going to run this baby up. We may go to 25 next, we may go plumb to 30. I don't know. Uh, somehow Jared Blair is trying to FaceTime me in the middle of a video and he's standing in front of me. Yeah. <coughs> Whatever. I don't know. 
So anyways. It's because we're always on a call together. It's just automatically assuming that. So anyways. Let it cool down for a few minutes. And I'll make another pull at a higher boost number. And then we'll we'll compare the real data. That'll be apples to apples and that will end our day. We'll show you the number. Next time a pull coming up. So we were shooting for a 30 pound target and it made what now? 26. 20, yeah, 26 and a half. 26 and a half. So what we've noticed with this cam is it shifted everything lower. The truck used to make power at a way higher RPM, like a lot higher. So now 7,000 is a repeat. The torque is average for us. The horsepower is lower, but that'll also equate because it's lower RPM. The truck doesn't like it. The torque, well, I mean, the torque is an average what we're, new, what we're used to. Yeah, at less boost, though. At, yeah, at less boost, yeah, I guess. So we've increased torque, decreased horsepower, um, but we have a beautiful curve. We have not achieved the boost number that we were looking for. Um, that's not a big deal. I mean, do you want to make a thousand? Just say we've done it, or? We can turn it up. I mean, we don't have to though. I mean, we really need to get out here and get to know his race today. Did the, hey, did the back pressure read? No, they ran zero that time. Run the four, red 100. Dang it. So, let me show you that. I've got a sensor in the exhaust to read, and I don't know if it's my janky wiring or my sensor that is scalding hot. Okay, I would bet the sensor's bad because it is so hot. I mean, it's, it's scalding hot. I say the sensor failed because of heat. <clears throat> okay, so I cannot give you a back pressure reading. Now, it's my own fault. But, now I got the truck pulled down a little bit. <clears throat> I'm gonna let the, the hands cool down for just a few minutes and uh, pull that plug, I'll show you what it looks like on that power at 26 pounds boost, right? And uh, I believe we're done for the day. The last thing I'm gonna show you will be the plug and then we'll probably just get out of here, right? No more pulls, we don't need to make any more pulls. We don't need to beat on it. It's not a dino queen. All right, so for all of you all that stayed this far, thank you. We're gonna show you this plug and uh, then we're gonna load it and get out of here. So give me just a second for that. So that spark plug looked very good. It actually needed more timing, probably another two degrees. We're not gonna give it to it, we don't care. We're unloading this thing so we can hurry up and get to the track. Starting tomorrow, we're gonna make some big changes. So you don't wanna miss that. I'm gonna try to record as much as I can there. <coughs> Sorry, I forgot to record. When I pulled that plug, I went Facebook Live. So if you wanna watch that, hop on over to my Facebook, check that out. We'll see you at the track.